Here's a look at the bolt-action rifles of the major powers of World War I and World War II. This is part two, where we take a look at the Allies. Now remember, this is bolt-action. There's no Garands and G43s. First up is the US of A. If you listen to the podcast, you know that more of our doughboys carried the 1917 than the 1903. But both are pretty good. And during World War II, they did have M1 carbines and M1 Garands, but they also had the O3A3s. Not that much of a change, but much better sights. Now over to France, they had some Labelles and Berthiers all through the war. Man, I love these French ones. And during World War II, they had the Moss 36s, but they still had Berthiers and Labelles and everything else they can get their hands on. The UK M-fields look alike. The short nose is the number one from World War I, and the pointy is number four from World War II. Easy way to tell. And lastly, Russia, I do not have an Imperial M91. That is an Imperial M91 receiver in an M27, and that's a World War II 9130. So who changed the most by World War II? 